Hey guys, so um, this is my second video on this channel, and um, today we are going to do pads versus tampons. So, yeah. Hello, my name is Tampon. I'm obviously on the tampon side. <laughs> I'm with pads. I still like tampons though, but. Okay, so I'm going to go first with my argument. Summer, my favorite season. My birthday is in the summer, and... I said mine too. Yeah, just barely. Whatever, shut up. Um, <laughs> so, um, these are good for if you like swimming because you're not going to want to wear a pad in the pool. This is just like clog it up out the way. Bam. So, these are good for swimming. And a downside, we should do like an upside and downside about it. Though. Okay. Okay, so. A downside is these are not for beginners. Like when you're starting, do not use this. And okay. your turn. So pads are good because you're not gonna wear a well. Um. So this is what it looks like. So you open your pad. This is the always ultra. These are the always ultra thin logs. Um. So, make sure you get the ones with the wings because the wings are better. I mean, it has, like, this plastic thing on it, and you peel the plastic thing off, and then, um, you fold it around your underwear, but I'm not going to waste this. So, um, yeah. And, um, for night, because these are really better because, um, tampons, you can get something called toxic shock syndrome, where, um, if you keep your tampon in for too long, over eight hours, it says, then, um, then you can get a syndrome that may kill you um but um pads you can leave in like all night like if you want to leave it in all night and not wake up in the middle of the night and change it like i had to do for the first one and i realized i can just get a really thick pad like the um the maxi pads go get one <laughs> the maxi pads the maxi pads are really thick but the the overnight ones are really thin that i have so like those are the maxi pads they're really big. These do not have wings, so I don't use those. I use the always, um, what's it called? Always Maxi Pad, whatever. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. You don't need to know the brand name. Wait, her, that is Tampax, no. Tampax? No. <laughs> Tampax? It doesn't even matter. Tampax Sport Regulars. Okay, so... Um, like she said, um, I, I don't even know. Toxic you can't shock get, syndrome? Yeah, toxic shock syndrome. Who wants to have in a tampon for more than eight hours? Not me, because, like, you're going to want to change I it. usually take it out during, like, five hours or six. I usually take it out, like, hour. No, that that will hurt. I don't, I don't care. I don't, I can't have it in for that long, but I like it better than pads. So, it just plugs it up, it keeps it out of the way, it doesn't feel like you're wearing a diaper. And, I'm going to show you how to Unless you one. put it in right, because mm -hmm. if you don't put it in right, it'll really hurt. So, I'm just going to show you how to, here's the thing. Scary looking, right? So, pretend this is your vagina hole. Yeah, so you want to stick it up, and then, okay, so you want to have your pointer finger on here and then your middle and your thumb your, on the grip yeah. part and then so you want to sort of stick it upwards and when your fingers touch your vagina hole <laughs> then you want to push it in and then you pull release. it release and um it'll stay like this i mean if it hurts like if you just like put the whole my friend, okay, this is a true story. My friend, this is actually true. <laughs> My friend, so we were in school, right? It was this year, the beginning of the year. And she went to go, she went to put, put in a tampon for the first time. And, um, well, I wasn't watching her, but she she, she told me, this really hurts, Alicia. I was like, what? She's like, I put the whole tampon in. Like, she didn't, she didn't even push it in. She kept it, insert her in. I was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> so it was like this. Yes, it was still in there. She did not push it in. <laughs> and then it Well it don't hurts. do that. Don't do that. It hurts when you try to take it out like after like five 
one hour to two hours it really hurts because it doesn't soak up all the blood like so if you keep it in for like six hours it soaks up all the blood so the thing gets big but it just slips out if it's dry it doesn't slip out because it your vagina is dry if when you wear a tampon so like it doesn't slip out because it's dr still dry so it's rubbing against your inner body and it hurts experienced <laughs> i just broke it but this that's it's, basically how yeah it, this is how it looks like when it comes out except red so yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to give a thumbs up if you want more period well duh because this is a period channel but yeah bye guys Make sure, oh, oh before um tell me which side you're on the pads oh the tampon or, or pads oh and i have my special red period journal <laughs> okay bye guys bye.